the tote ball handicap hurdle is next then. This is a two and three quarter mile handicap hurdle. And we'll take a look at the full list of the runners. It's 0 to 130. And the top one is blooming good for Craig Beckwith, Forrest Ting, and Cute Astrid for David Robertson, Yushindi Wen for Alex Cherry, Alexia's Squadron, Darren Thompson, Portland Mirrored Vinny Gerard, St. Jude for Paul Rhodes and a three-timer, Fluvial for Vinny Gerard, Karuga Back, Thomas Rogers, Windchime, Alex Cherry, Mighty Black, Graham Clutterbuck, Latent Damage, Daniel French, Ring of Esteem, Thomas Rogers, and final delivery for Dan Hughes. So 14 then. And this called in and away. And it looks like Blooming Good might be the one that's going to take it up. We'll get wind chime nearest to us as they get to the first of the 12 flights. And they're all safely over the first with Blooming Good settled down into the lead. Wind chime is in second. Alexia's squadron is in third. And then comes St. Jude 4 as they get to the second of the 12 that they've got to take. In all, they're over that one nicely with Blooming Good. A good five lengths clear already. So Blooming Good then is going off into the lead. And he looks like he's going to be happy to blaze the trail. And he's five or six clear past the winning post with a couple of circuits still to go. Uh, Blooming Good it is from Wind Chime who's gone second. St. Jude is third. And then Alexia's squadron is, th is after that one in fourth. And Portland Mirrored and Fluvial. The grey on the inside I think is latent damage. The final delivery in the all blue next to that one and looking towards the back Karuga Bank is just a back marker as they take flight three which they all successfully negotiate and they now make their way towards flight four with Blooming Good enjoying a commanding lead at this stage cleared by a good six lengths possibly even seven with Portland Mirror and Alexia Squadron the head of the chasing pack Fluvials in fourth then St. Jude and Wind Chime. As we go up into the trees and whatnot, when it's blooming good in the lead. And we'll safely over flight number four. We're blooming good in front and Portland mirrored in second. Alexia Squadron is third and Fluvial is fourth as they get to flight five. They're all safely over. Mighty Black and Karuga Bank, the back two at this stage. The two David Robertson horses running together at the rear of the field as well. Cute Astrid and Far is Ting. But as they swing left handed now, then back towards the straight. And it's blooming good. He's only five lengths clear now from Portland Mirrored in the second. And Alexia Squadron third. Fluvial is in fourth place. The Grey Layton Tunnel is five. Then Wind Chime and then St. Jude and Ring of Esteem. And um, Yushindi Wens after that. Then final delivery. Far is Ting. Cute Astrid. Mighty Black and finally Karuga Bank. So turning into the straight then, and Blooming Good is in the lead still, but only by three now as they get over flight number six. Will be the final flight on the next circuit. And this one will as they get over it. And Blooming Good in front. And Portland Mirrored and Fluvial. Alexia Squadron and Wind Chant. And you shindy win. Tracking his stable mate. The two in the Alex Cherry colours closest to us as they pass the winning post then with a complete circuit of the track to go. And Blooming Good has led past the winning post twice. And we'll be hoping to make it three times next time around. So Blooming Good it is then still from Portland Mirrored in second. And then Latent Damage is moving up nicely on the inside in third. Fluvial Alexia Squadron. Forest Ting is also getting much closer to jump that one really nicely. So you move into fourth. But it's still blooming good in the lead from Portland Mirrored. Latent damage. Forest Ting going exceptionally well. Wind Chime also going well on the outside. Then Fluvial and Electria Squadron as they make their way towards the next flight. With just seven more furlongs to race. Four more flights of hurdles to take. And blooming good. Only leads by two lengths now to Wind Chime and Latent Damage. Alexia Squadron as they towards this fourth last all over it nicely one or two from the back they'll have to get going soon one that's dropping back quite a bit is St Jude but it's blooming good that leads by a length over the third from home 
queuing up behind there's probably five in a line share in second at the moment then another two just behind them but it's blooming good in the lead wind chime is second lexia squadron latent damage is still there fluvial and portland mirrored as well also final delivery coming into it as well forest ting switches around to the outside and now running on again is saint jude and cute astrid behind as well as they come down towards the second last but blooming good isn't stopping and is still too clear it's blooming good with portland mirrored now moving back into second again then comes wind chime and latent damage alexia squadrons after that one saint jude coming around the outside of the track so too is forest ting they've still got two flights to take and now finally blooming good has been collared by portland mirrored and they go over that one and portland mirrored landed in the lead but latent talent burst through the challenge wind chimes coming through as well blooming good looks beaten it's latent damage and portland mirrored they've still got one to jump over the final flight they go and it's latent damage who lands in the lead but look at this forest ting coming through with a run also trying to come back his wind chime but it's latent damage who's now in the lead by a length and latent damage looks to be pulling away latent damage takes it from wind chime portland mirrored alexia squadron then forest ting and final delivery blooming good and all the way back to you shindy when The grey latent damage looked to be going well for most of the race, and the only grey in the race takes it. Or oh, Daniel French. So the wind's been shared about a little bit on the final day so far. Let's take a full look. Latent damage for Daniel French, the winner. Wind chime for Alex Cherry was second. Paul and Mirrod Vinnie Gerard was third. Alexia Squadron for Darren Thompson, fourth. And Forest Ting for David Robertson was fifth.